today I've got a guest appearance from Chats with Chrissy. So we're going to have a little bit of a discussion about the up and coming iOS 7. We've got some leaked and rumoured information. And what would you like to see in the new update, Dan? So what Apple really need to update is the entire layout of the iOS. It's been really stale and boring for the last couple of years now, and they really need to make it a little bit more fresh and vibrant. What would you like to see in the new update, Chrissy? I'd like to see a little bit more freedom, adding in some themes and some shortcuts to the settings. What about some widgets and toggles as well? Yeah, I think that would be a really good addition to the iOS. So these are the leaked and rumoured things that we've heard about the new iOS 7. Firstly, it seems like they're going to take a little bit more time to release this update. It definitely looks like one of their biggest updates and it seems like they're going to be taking a lot of time to make sure that it does pop. One thing that iOS users have been waiting for for a long time is the customization of the Apple devices. So a welcomed addition to iOS devices would definitely be the addition of widgets into our devices. Also, another great addition would be customizable themes. And these could all be embedded into a brand new store called the widget store. Another thing Apple users really need to have the freedom to use is toggles. We need toggles to turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and just some really simple things so we don't have to go into the settings every time to customize it. Another great thing to have is when you double tap and you slide across you have the volume bar where you can adjust the volume and maybe if you slide across one more time it would be awesome to have a brightness adjusting bar just so it's a shortcut for that also. Shortcuts to settings would be another great feature to have on the new iOS 7 and having those shortcuts on the lock screen homepage and notification bar would be really useful to have. One thing that's been annoying users for many years now is the fact that we can't delete stock applications. So we really need to be able to delete those applications. There's definitely a large portion of people who don't even invest into stocks. So why do we need a stock application sitting there and just wasting our time? Something else that would be a really great option for your busy users of Apple devices would be the quick reply option for messaging. This will basically allow users to reply to messages without actually having to go into the messages application. Now I really don't see how this feature hasn't been made available yet. Most jailbroken users would know that they can use this feature from the get-go. But overall guys, Apple really need to step up their game for iOS 7. There's also going to be more additions and updates to the new iOS 7 that Apple haven't released yet. So keep checking back on both of our channels, Chats with Chrissy and the iPod Touch World, and we will keep you guys notified on the new iOS 7. And if there's anything that you want to see in the new iOS 7, leave a comment below on both of our videos. But that's it guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. And remember to stay classy YouTube.